we are super excited that you're here with us tonight to learn more about Montessori um, and all the good stuff that we have in store for you guys. Um, you'll hear from Miss Candace. She is our student success coach here um, who can help in all things dual credit. And we have Miss Julianne and Sharon, um, who is the chair of early childhood education. Um, and Miss Julianne, she is our instructor and Montessori coordinator. Um, so like I said, we're super excited to have you here tonight um, and to answer any and all questions that you all may have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and get going. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so we are just going to talk a little bit um, about what Montessori is. I know a lot of the times when people hear Montessori, they're like, mm, I'm not exactly sure what all that entails. Um, so as you can see, Montessori education is a brain based development method that allows children to make creative choices. You know, it's a lot of hands on learning self expression. Um, Julian, Sharon, do you want to go ahead and jump on board and kind of explain a little bit more about what Montessori is? Sure, sure. sure. Montessori is the oldest, most continuous approach to early childhood education. And many of the things that we take for granted child sized furniture and hands on learning and concrete materials came from Dr. Maria Montessori who was actually a scientist and a medical doctor first. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the neat things about Montessori is that it is recognized worldwide. So really anyone with a Montessori degree, Montessori training could theoretically go anywhere in the world and find a job. It's also recognized by the United Nations and UNESCO as one of the premier early childhood components. We've actually participated in a world, several World Bank grants to teach Montessori in China and Belize. Uh, so it is you know, a very well-recognized program. And also Julianne and I have Montessori training together. We've been teachers in Montessori classrooms for 40 years. I know that sounds like a lot, but we started very young. Yes, I was very young. <laughs> <laughs> and my particular Montessori training was actually given under a person who trained directly under Maria Montessori. So we are excited about being able to share this opportunity to prepare pathways for high school students to get a jump start mm -hmm. and become workforce ready in a program that is recognized not only throughout the United States, Kentucky, in public schools, private schools, but also around the world and by top uh, early childhood program organizations. Awesome, thank you guys so much. Um, so the next slide, we're just going to go ahead and discuss a few of the different classes. So as you can see here, we have it kind of mapped up, mapped out for you guys um, when you're going to be able to take our classes, what class you're going to take, um, and all that good stuff. Um, so of course, you can see the guidance of the young child, child development two, found foundations of Montessori, approaches to curriculum and methods, and introduction to special education, which I'm really excited about. Um, off to the right, you can see um, exactly when you're going to be taking them during your junior and senior years. Um, and of course, all of the classes are through credit hours. Um, Ms. Sharon and Julianne, do you want to go ahead and talk about a couple of the different classes and some of the fun stuff that they will be doing um, during their time? Absolutely. Wow. You know, one of the best things about being able to uh, hop on to an early childhood pathway is that it gives you access to doing some um, field experience hours, possibly an internship or an apprenticeship, and certainly getting ready to go into a classroom even as an assistant. So these are gonna be really great classes that's gonna build already on your strong um, early childhood foundation. The guidance of the young child is learning how to actually speak with children and um, redirect them in a really positive way, looking at behaviors, um, kind of looking at the challenging behaviors by going to the source and checking out how we can, um, you know, kind of derail that part of their behavior and bring them right back into what they should be doing. Um, child development too is gonna to be something that you've already started and actually you're gonna build upon that. 
The foundations of Montessori is gonna be very fun. There's some field trips we're gonna be taking and certainly gonna be learning more about the materials and there's lots of ways to learn in Montessori. And so it's very fun. But one of the best things I think is that we're actually including some of our special education in our inclusion. Dr. Montessori had a, um, started out being a special ed person. She was a pediatric um, physician and she worked with children who had special needs. And to be honest, in the classrooms today, this is something all teachers and even teaching assistants need to know a little bit about. So we're going to be working on that as well. Do you want to add anything to that? Awesome. Thank, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Uh, the next couple of slides, you know, just gives a little bit more um, of detailed course descriptions of each class. So that's what you'll see here. Um, and requirements. Um, I know that must be a really big question. So you do have to, each student needs to have a 2.5 GPA or higher to participate in our program. Um, it's as simple as filling out one of our CU um, dual credit applications. Um, everything is fully online. It takes less than 10 minutes, super duper easy to fill out. Um, another thing that we will go ahead and collect for you guys is just a FERPA form. Um, and if you're not aware of what a FERPA form is, that is just basically to keep all communication together. Um, parents will know kind of what's happening in class, how, how you're doing in class, um, and be able to talk with our professors and whatnot. So that's just the open communication aspect of it, just to keep everyone in the loop and on the same page. Um, and then of course, we just need a copy of your unofficial transcripts just to go ahead and put that in our system and ready to rock and roll. Uh, the next slide, we just talk about the transferability of credits. Um, you know, it is depending on like the receiving school, the receiving institution, if they're going to accept our credits, but, but we are SACS approved. Um, so most likely that is a big yes. Um, it could be a direct match or it could be used as an elective. Um, you know, you have to have those gen eds and those electives to finish out that four year degree. Um, or you can always, you know, if you're interested, stay here with us at CU Louisville. Um, of course, we do accept our own transcripts or our own classes, um, but they can be used as electives in different programs as well, um, just in case you decide to change your mind. Um, and the really cool thing about being um, within this program with dual credit, there is priority acceptance into CU Louisville. Um, this page, we're just gonna hit on um, junior year. Um, we are looking to, of course, have these classes out at the Rock. So out there um, near you guys on Mondays and Wednesdays, as you can see from around 7.45 to 9 a.m. Um, so each class is going to be an hour and 15 minutes, um, and they are going to be 16-week classes to fit within your schedule. Um, we are creating a really unique space out there at the Rock. Um, it's going to be more of a college atmosphere, um, and so we're really working on that space for you guys to kind of calm, relax, learn some really cool stuff and hang out, um, kind of get out of your home-based high school for a little while. Um, and then senior year, as you can see, um, the day switch up just a little bit. Um, you guys would actually be coming out to our Louisville Center um, out here. So if you're not too familiar where we are, we're located right off Hurstbourne. Um, we're near all the restaurants. I get myself in trouble on that during lunch because I spend all the money. Um, so we're out here off Firstborn, right across from the movie theater and right behind the Home Depot. Um, so hopefully you guys are somewhat familiar with the Firstborn area, not too terribly far from you guys. Um, once again, it's going to be Tuesday and Thursday. We haven't quite figured out the timing yet, um, but we, of course, will get that all together. Um, Danny, did you want to hit on anything on this page? Yeah, just a little bit. So I kind of get questions about the rock, like how do I get there? literally again we're beside the ATC the vocational schools so if you go to Bullet Central easy you just simply get off the bus you're in that same parking lot you walk back there okay or if you're a car rider you come to the building you walk back there if you're at North Bullet or Bullet East uh, the buses go down in the morning so you can get off your bus or car rider line and get on the shuttle buses that come down to Riverview and the ATC and, and ride that down to the rock Okay, this will be again for two days a week, 
So it's not every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'll leave out approximately around nine o'clock. And, and that's the same as the vocational school students to go back to school. So normally it, it's basically your first and second period. You can think of it that way, um, coming down to the rock. Uh, as Dr. Barger said in the schedule, or I'm sorry, in the chat, you can change your schedules. So just because you've already made out a class schedule doesn't mean that that's locked in stone. If you decide to apply for this pathway and you're accepted, uh, then we'll go back to your home high school, whether that's East, Central, or North, and adjust your schedule. Now, on the days that you don't have class, uh, again, that'll be up to your high school, um, whether that you're, you're in the library, you know, doing work. That'd be a great time to, to work on this class or maybe to take another class too as well for the, the semesters that you only have the one class. So good deal. There was a question earlier too about like how intensive is the writing is in this program. Uh, I, I didn't know if you guys could answer that one. Julian and Sharon, would you like to hit on that? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. You want to try? Um, the courses are actually much more practical oriented, um, watching some videos and, and making responses, uh, readings and, and re, you know, replying to the readings. There's in terms of writing, you're not writing like major papers. A lot of it is hands on and we'll be giving you actually the lesson plans as hard copies. We plan on having like a little resource area mm -hmm. where there's materials and there's albums that you can come look at and the textbooks are kind of there. So it's not terribly intensive in terms of writing, not like taking an English literature course. No, <laughs> and actually one of the projects is writing a, a really fun brochure and that's mm -hmm. gonna use your creative, you know, kind of your creative side of you and thinking about, you know, what kinds of things you would wanna talk to a parent about so that's the kind of writing we're gonna be doing. Um, all of us are used to helping anyone do well in their writing. And so this is probably gonna help even in your regular high school courses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm excited. Shelby, do you mind talking about the tutor if they do have any issues, how we have academic support with them? Yes, so um, we do have a really great tutor here on site. Um, so if there are any issues or if you do need help, we do have a really great tutor, like I said, here on site at the Louisville Center. She can meet via Zoom if need be. She's a great resource to have, you know, to read through your paper, um, to make sure everything is good to go before you even turn it in. Um, so if we are having some difficulty with papers or any type of, assi of assignments, um, just know that we have a really great student services team and tutor here to help with anything and everything. And Ms. Julian and Sharon, I know that they want you all to succeed as much as your parents, as much as we do. Um, so I know that they are going to be super helpful as well. Awesome, so this next slide, um, we're just gonna hit on the application process. Um, as you can see here, um, there is a link off to the right-hand side where you can click, go directly to our website, um, create an email and password for it and be able to um, go ahead and get that application sent. Um, as you can see on the left, my email is there. Um, please email me if you have any questions about the application. Um, or if you get stuck or anything like that, um, I'm always here to help. And so is Ms. Candace that you're about to hear from. Um, but the application, like I mentioned earlier, it takes less than 10 minutes to fill out. Um, and then if you are interested in joining this pathway, I can send you um, the direct link or you can get it directly off of this PowerPoint. Um, as we go on to this slide, um, materials needed, um, textbooks, um, I just got approval from CU about providing the textbooks for these classes. So that's a really cool thing because textbooks are expensive and I'm not quite sure why. Um, it's always a little troubling to think about how much books are. Um, so books are going to be provided for all the different classes within this pathway. So you don't have to worry about that at all. 
um, in your computer, you all have Chromebooks. Um, so I think that's super cool that the board has provided you those Chromebooks. Um, so you'll just need to bring your Chromebook to class, um, bring your textbooks, all of that good stuff um, for class. Um, next, we um, I'm going to bring up Keena Straxel. She is on this call, like I mentioned. She's going to talk a little bit more about student services. I know I, I briefly hit on the tutor being on site and who can make virtual appointments. Um, but Keena, go ahead and take it away and tell us a little bit more about student services. Yeah, thank you, Shelby. Um, so I am the dual credit student success coach here at CU Local. Um, so what that looks like is I will just be checking in as you are taking these college classes and making sure that you guys are doing well and you feel comfortable going to your classes. Um, Shelby and I will actually be coming to The Rock when you guys start classes the week before um, the CU will actually start. We'll be coming in, helping you set up your email, making sure you're comfortable with um, you know, how to turn in your assignments, how to look at your assignments, things like that. Um, and then while you're in class, I'll be checking in every week, every two weeks, um, just making sure you guys have everything you need. And if at some point you feel like you need some help, then I'll be able to connect you with Tassie, who's our tutor, um, and make sure that you guys get connected. Or if you have anything else you need, um, you can always reach out to me. Um, and I always tell students, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, just because you meet with Tassie, who's our tutor, once doesn't mean you have to meet with her all the eight weeks or 16 weeks. Um, you can just meet with her once and sometimes she just helps people understand what the assignment means, um, what the requirements are. She can help you navigate how to use the library. Um, different things like that. So it's always great to ask for help if you need it. Um, and I'm just kind of there to be that person that you can always go to. So yeah, I'm excited to work with you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. And yeah, like she says, she'll be popping in on you guys, just making sure you're okay. Um, don't be spooked if she just sends you a random text saying, hey, I'm just checking in on you. You're doing great. Let me know if you need anything. Um, so she is a definitely a great resource to have um, and definitely don't be afraid to reach out. We're here to help, like I said. Uh, Ms. Juliana, Sharon, do you want to talk a little bit about your office hours and how available you guys are? Actually, we're going to be, we, um, we do teach courses in Louisville, so that's something we can actually um, arrange to, to meet with anybody who um, needs extra help. Um, there's always going to be uh, options to come early if we need more help as well, or any type of Zoom or any other kind of face-to-face, -face, we can always arrange that. Um, that's Campbellsville across the board. I mean, we do that with all of our students, and so we're going to be excited and happy to extend that to our new students who are doing dual credit. Awesome, thank you. Um, there, there was a question that came in, Shelby, like how do you get your textbooks at The Rock? Yeah, so that is a really great question. Um, so like Candace mentioned how we will be out there a couple weeks in advance and whatnot. Um, we thought about going ahead and bringing out the textbooks then, or even just bringing out the textbooks the first day of class. Um, so either way, you'll get them a couple weeks beforehand or the very first night or the very first morning that you have class. Um, you will be able to take home these books, of course, use them for homework, study materials, all that good stuff. Um, we just ask for all books just to be returned um, once the class is over. Um, you'll return it to your instructor um, and just so we can continue using them. Go ahead and skip this. Um, important dates. We are going off of the CU academic calendar. Um, so these are just a few of the important dates that will be coming up next year um, with the first day of class and fall break and all that good stuff. Um, this talks about um, our parent night that is actually coming up this Thursday. 
Um, this just talks a little bit more about the Kia and Work Ready scholarship opportunities. Um, because within this pathway, it's going to be very limited cost for you guys. Um, like I said, all the materials are provided for you all. You all just need to return them once the class is over. Um, but a lot of these classes are going to be um, taken care of through Kia and Work Ready. Um, and we do have a rep joining us on Thursday night just to kind of um, explain a little bit more of what that looks like. Uh, the next couple of slides just talks about our Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education um, and doing a concentration with Montessori. Um, once again, another um, option for you guys, it does take 120 hours um, to complete the program. And this page just talks about our scholarship opportunities. So incoming freshmen, dual credit students that stay with me um, during their freshman year, uh, they will be eligible for a one-time $1,500 scholarship opportunity. Um, of course, keys, keys money can be used down at our main campus. So that's always a great option. And then you can kind of see the tuition price, um, the tuition difference between the Louisville Center and down at main campus. Um, and the very last page is just the contact information page. Um, of course, you can see um, myself, Candace, Ms. Julianne, and Sharon on here um, with their email and office number. Um, I do, and so does Candace. We have our cell phone numbers. If you guys come up with any other questions, any concerns, I know sometimes just shooting over a quick text is, is easier um, than sending over an email, but that is it. Do you guys have any questions, any concerns? There was a question that just come in a while ago in the chat. So if a student was in there and after first semester, um, could they opt out if they think that it's not the right fit um, for them? And, and the answer to that is, is technically it's yes, but I bet that if you start digging into this program, uh, it's amazing opportunity. Uh, I, I bet you're gonna love it, but the technical answer is yes. Mm -hmm. but I don't think that you'll do it, uh, to be quite honest. <laughs> I wouldn't. So, all right, students and parents out there, I always put it this way. Here's the skinny, okay? So 15 credit hours, that's like a semester of college for the most part, okay? For the average places. So with that work-ready scholarship for next school year, so three hours in the fall, three in the spring, that work-ready scholarship is going to pay for it. So free college classes. Campbellsville's coming in saying, hey, your books, free. BCPS gives you your Chromebook, free. You've got amazing professors that are saying, you are going to succeed and be successful. Again, free. And then you got Candace that's going to check on you and tutoring. And again, it's going to be relentless. You're going to succeed, free. Uh, what an amazing opportunity, um, uh, of course. So, uh, Again, I would call it the skinny. Uh, I need it kind of laid out for me that way. So it's, it's an amazing um, opportunity. Uh, I wish I had something like that when I was in high school. So I'm quite jealous of you guys. Uh, <laughs> again, terrific. So if you have questions, again, feel, put them in the chat. It's okay if you need to unmute yourself and be able to ask those too. Um, and I'll just hit on the classes that aren't necessarily covered by Kia or the Work Ready. Um, it's typically around $70, $72, $74 a credit hour for the class. Um, so still quite more affordable than actually, you know, the price you would pay for once you graduate high school and get that credit. So just keep that in mind as well. Dual credit is a great opportunity to go ahead and, and take advantage of that. But do you guys have any other questions, any concerns? I'm, I'm curious where our students on the line and parents are from, what high schools? I didn't know if you guys could put in the chat box just to have a conversation or because um, this is a new program that we're starting for Bullock County Schools. So I'm interested in seeing, you know, who's on the, the video tonight. Uh, what locations you're from and so forth. So if you don't mind, just type something in the chat or or turn on your video and so we can see. Maybe we can have a little communication. 
that way we can reach back out to you and be very intentional how we do that. We also had a question about like observation and field hours. Uh, where would we do that at? We, um, we actually have a lot of partnerships in the area. That's one of the things that we'll be working together and building even more so that um, the students will have an opportunity to go in and actually uh, work in the classroom, see, do their observation hours. So um, a lot of those types of things uh, we can even do together. So with a field trip, that's not uncommon when we do something with like special ed, we hit a couple major places to do a field trip together and get some of those field hours done that way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Dr. Barger, it looks like we have all three high schools represented in our meeting tonight. What's so wonderful about this and for the parents and students, uh, the partnership we've formed um, with Campbellsville, uh, with the Louisville location, they are providing the instructor. So you're getting the you're getting your education from the college level instructor, from their instructors that, you know, live in that program day in and day out. They're providing you tutors to make sure that you are successful. Um, they're providing the books for you and you can apply for that work ready scholarship. So essentially you can go tuition free for four of those classes because you, you know, you get two of those for the work ready per year um, for you. So, I mean, what a great opportunity as Mr. Clement said about the 15 hours of dual credit that you have an opportunity to, to earn in this field if you're interested in it during your high school experience. So I, I'm extremely thankful for them. And I, I just sure hope we have some students take advantage of this opportunity. Just very thankful. So Shelby, I guess next steps for families and students. So I, I'm interested. So the Google site is out there that has that application to go ahead and start that application on that Google site. And if I need any assistance, the link that you shared Thursday night, I can jump in a Zoom meeting and get some extra help. Um, yes, you guys are more than welcome to join us on Thursday. Um, if you guys have any questions or trouble filling out the application, um, yes, join us. Or you can just email me directly um, and I can definitely help you out that way and send you the link if you're having trouble finding it. What if they have friends that have missed this opening meeting that you know that might be interested in it? Uh, would you recommend that they attend the next meeting or reach out to you individually? Or, or what would you say for students that might be interested that's in their classes right now? Or some of their friends that's also interested in early childhood education? So um, if they do have friends that might be interested as well, um, I would love to connect with them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'm available to jump on a Zoom call, share this presentation with them again, and answer some direct questions. Um, and then, like I said, if they would like to join us for Thursday um, and just learn more about the work ready opportunities um, and all that good stuff, that's always available as well. Hello, I have um, a crazy toddler with me right now, which is why my video has been off. But hi, I'm Rhiannon Jones. I'm the early childhood teacher at um, Bullet East High School. I was actually going to ask if there was any way that this PowerPoint that was shared um, could be sent to me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and somebody even asked if, um, if this meeting was being recorded and if so, um, if I could maybe share that with some of my students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also in the chat, um, I linked our Google site which has all the information as well as the presentation that Shelby went through. But yeah, we're also recording it, so. Yes. <laughs> and Ms. Jones, I'll get a recording of this and send it to you. Uh, and if you could share that with your students, that would be awesome. I would be more than happy to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ms. Shelby, I'm very thankful. I feel like we've got uh, wraparound services lined out for our students to be successful. I think we've got all the logistics planned out. Um, I'm just really excited to see this pathway blossom next year. 
and uh, see our students go into this high demand field of early childhood education uh, with the emphasis on Montessori and excited about the special education course. So and I know Campbellsville has quality programs in those fields and excited to watch them down that path of earning those uh, future degrees. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to join us in this pathway. I know Miss Sharon and Julianne, they're super excited to be working with you. I know you guys are going to love working with them and just hearing some of their stories would just totally blow your mind. Um, I know it's it's blown my mind. Some of the some of the crazy stories that they share. Um, so do you guys have anything else you'd like to share? Well, yesterday we were meeting with the vice president of, of Louisville Center, Mark Mann, and he was saying that he could just see us taking like 40 dual credit students with us when we go down to Belize to do some work mm -hmm. and having them work, you know, doing some stuff, service yeah. projects with us. And that got me really excited too. Of course, parents are welcome to come as well. But I mean, this is something that the, oh, and you, of course, yeah. <laughs> but this is something we love to do with our students is give them global awareness and, um, and give them the opportunity to work with teachers from all over the world. And that might even open their eyes to doing something internationally, who knows, you know, but that was an exciting thing to hear you say. So um, I'm hoping for even more experiences like that kind of thing to come in our way. All right, again, I appreciate everybody being on here tonight. Uh, thank you. Uh, we look forward to seeing your applications coming in. Again, please feel free to reach out. We'll do our best to help you. And everybody have a great evening. Thanks. <laughs>